Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance. No contribution with this video. You know, the longer this quarantine lockdown goes on, the the the, the, the and the more facts that come out about it and the numbers being adjusted and who's involved with what, the more I'm convinced the entire thing is nonsense. Not that the virus isn't real. It is. But I think it's no different than any other new virus that comes out. There's always new strains of flu and viruses and what have you. And the flu and viruses usually kill about 70,000 people a year in this country. I mean, this is just a complete... I mean, they have stopped the world from moving. Half the world has stopped. Uh, you know, the way I can almost... <clears throat> the way I, I, I look at it is... Is that, like, nobody I know is missing. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I still see the same people I see every day. You know? It's just that, like, no one else is around. It's almost like... We're in some kind of weird simulation. And whatever whatever program controls all the NPCs, the nine non-player characters, has dis ha has malfunctioned. And I feel like we're almost walking around in a world, in a live action world. And I don't even play video games. I'm very very, but it almost feels like everybody you're interacting with is like like the all the non-player characters have been disappeared. Because where is everybody? Where is everybody? I still see the same other people I see every day. You know? It's just like, where are these other people that have seemed to just disappeared? These people that you don't know, but they're on the streets, they're in the roads, they're like, are they gone? Like, what happened to them? Where are they? It's just, it's just so strange. It's just so strange to me. And I'm not saying I think we're in a simulation or anything. I'm just saying that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. You know? Look, at this point, I believe, you know, I, I, I believe, and you guys know how I feel, you know, this is political. You know, I believe this is political. This is... This is mainly run by China because they lost that trade deal. They lost on trade to Trump. They lost on trade to Trump. Brexit goes through. Boris Johnson gets Brexit through. This is this is the new world order, man. This is that same new world order that we've always been taught, trying to get control. Then we got to tank we got to stop the economy it's the only way to stop trump because these other countries are having populist uprisings that are fed that, that that are feeding off him and these other countries are figuring out like wait a minute we don't got to take the eu's bullshit we don't got to take the, the the who's bullshit the un's bullshit we don't got to take china's bullshit we don't have to You know, I saw a story on Fox Business how these dairy farmers are now having to dump all this milk, hundreds of thousands of gallons of milk right down the drain because they can't sell it, they can't move it. The milk, the milk sales, you know, have gone pretty stagnant. And to me, that kind of just encapsulated the entire issue the entire issue with what's wrong with the country and where we went wrong. You know, back in the old days, you know, not even that long ago, you used to have, and I was telling, saying this to Charlene, milk was pretty local. You had your local dairy farms and then you had your milkmen. Like it was just another part of the economy. You had these milk delivery services that would deliver your milk, you know, one bottle, two bottles, four bottles, however milk you needed, much milk you needed. There was a guy who delivered the milk to you every day. 
you know. And Charlene's like, well, if part of the problem is, well, then who's going to be there to receive it? And I'm like, well, that's just it. You know, we, we've, the, the, the country has been destroyed, you know, through leftist policies and feminism telling women that they don't need to be in the home, that it's, they've, they've, you know, completely disparaged being a, being a housewife, being a stay at home mother, like it's meaningless. They've destroyed an entire at home economy that used to exist in this country. Because let's just say this had happened in, in, in times of, you know, in the 40s and the 50s when they used to have at-home milk delivery. And, you know, what you would have is you would have these local businesses and these local communities coming together to support each other. Say, hey, you know, you might be out of work right now, but we're going to continue your milk deliveries until, you know, the stimulus, until whatever. And everything would keep moving. Everything we keep moving, everything we keep going because you have a sense of local community that has been completely wiped out because, you know, they've raided the coffers, they got off the gold standard, they've completely inflated inflated the currency in this country where it's meaningless. I mean, if you could just up and print $6 billion, then what the fuck are, what, what, what are we paying taxes for? If you could just keep printing this fucking money, then what's the point of paying taxes in the first place? I mean, it's crazy when you think about it. But, you know, being a stay-at-home mom, raising a family, having a, you know, you know, being a homemaker is a bad thing now. Not only is it a bad thing, it's impossible, it's nearly impossible. It's nearly impossible to be a stay-at-home mom. Why? Because you just need two incomes, you know, to run a one-bedroom apartment at this point. They didn't want to lose that control. They don't want that going back, you know? We lost our manufacturing. We, like, you know, and they were, they were making fun of us. They were making fun of us. In 2015 and in 2016, before the election, well, you know, you can't bring back manufacturing. These things are gone. Well, why? And they shouldn't be. And we're learning now why it's important for every country to be able to manufacture their own goods. It's a national security issue. Well, things are going to cost more. Well, then don't inflate the dollar. Don't devalue what our dollar, the, our, our, your own currency, and that wouldn't be a fucking problem. Trump's a disruption to all of that. Whether you think personally he's a narcissist or not, eh, probably. He's a goddamn good president. I'll say that. He's a goddamn good administrator and a goddamn good president. So they want to stop the economy. What does he say? Like, okay, you want to do you want to, you want to do art of the come. I was like, I've done art of the deal. I want to do art of the comeback. We'll do art of the comeback. And all they're going to do is continue to cement the man's legacy. This is frustrating. What's going on? Because now it's like you're, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it personally. You know. <clears throat> The channel stopped dead. I mean, the st I mean, it's it stopped dead, dead. And it's not. I mean, people are out of work. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I mean, I've even offered, you know, go back taking, um, you know, sponsorships. I got one sponsorship in. I got another, you know, one another partial, and that's it. You know, that's not anybody's fault. That's you know, the world's economy has stopped. You can't work, like Charlene can't work. There's no place to apply to at this point. Well, you know the super. You know they say, oh, well, they're hiring. Publix is hiring this and that. It's 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 not it's not happening. The unemployment system. I mean, she's been out now 
going on a month. It'll be next week. Yeah, today's the tenth. Our last day was was St. Patrick's Day, the seventeenth. All right. She filed and claimed her unemployment. She's never gotten. A, she hasn't gotten a confirmation. She should have already been paid for her first two weeks. Nothing. Nothing. You know, she doesn't, can't even get a confirmation on the Florida unemployment system. She's in the system, luckily. They got the information from her. You know, they're confirming it. They're telling her to claim when her weeks are coming up. Nothing back yet. Because everything, there's so many people. There's so many people and it's, you know. Now it's at a point like, uh-oh, now what? Well, it's great you can't foreclose and you can't do this and you can't turn that off but at some point you have to pay all that you know and i've been paying we've been paying you know we've been paying everything to try to stay ahead and people are in a tough spot i got it i know it you know and and to me it's just like now they just it, it it's like people are gonna lose their patience People are going to lose their patience real quick, you know, if the, if this continues, because it's ridiculous at this point. Most people don't know anyone who's sick, who's been sick, who's at it. I understand there's a few here or there. To do what we've done to the country, to the world, to the economy, to people's careers, to people's businesses. And you still see the Democrats playing games. You still see the, the you know, tr you know, they're trying to get money to these small businesses. Like, who knows what, what strings are going to be attached to what? With these bloodsuckers. And again, I got to ask the question, if you could just print $6 billion, then what the fuck are we paying taxes about? What is, what is going on here? Like Trump's even going so far where he's kind of offering Medicare for all. It's crazy. It's crazy for the coronavirus and, and then they're still fighting him. Trump is outlefting the left on some of these issues. And then they call him. It's just, it's mind-blowing. And it's just, the longer it goes on, the longer, it, the, the more clear it is to me that this is just a power play, a money grab, and an attempt to try to, and a final attempt to try to take out Trump. Because if you think Joe Biden's going to do it, he don't even know where the hell he is. That isn't happening. And if people think that Andrew Cuomo's going to come riding in on his white horse, save it. Like, he is a train wreck. Up until, up until the uh, the media started giving him positive on this coronavirus thing, he's laying in the street, telling, laying in the street for abortion rights, telling people, telling people that if you're pro-life, you have no place in New York. That's going to win. <laughs> yeah, he's going to win on that. Go ahead, go ahead, go replace, go replace Joe Biden with Andrew, with, with, with Fredo's brother, okay, and see what happens, see what happens. And we're all pawns in all of this, in all of it. And it's sad. And the longer it goes on, the more and more I'm convinced it is complete and total bullshit. You don't see the politicians wearing masks, do you? You don't see cops wearing masks. I don't see firemen wearing masks. Not down here and not on TV. Not even barely in New York. Even what I'm seeing in New York. So what gives? The hospitals are empty down here. I know that firsthand. I don't know. Did I, did, did, did I talk about when I was driving down? I had to buy a plunger. The other day, had to go to the went to the Ace Hardware. They were open, and they happened to be selling masks for eight bucks a piece. And now, right here, right here, KN95. 
eight bucks a piece. I bought, I'm like, fuck. So like an idiot, I buy a plunger and two masks and Charlene's all pissed. You know, like, you fucking buy. I'm like, what are you going to do if they make it, man? You can't go shopping with that. Like, what, what are we going to do? Not eat? Not eat? I mean, I understand revolution and all, but at some point you got to eat too. So when I go into Ace to buy the mask, there's two nurses there from, um, I think, Broward General. They're buying all the masks. So I reach in and he's like, no, no, I'm buying these. I'm like, I can't have, I need two, one for me and my wife. And the other girl's like, okay, okay. Like the male guy, the male nurse was like, I'm like, bro, really? <laughs> like, and she was like, no, 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 it's fine. And I ask her, I'm like, well, well, are you guys overrun with patients? What's going on? And she's like, no, not at all. She's like, we got a few and they're isolated, but we're pretty slow. I'm like, well, what are you doing here buying the mask? She's like, they sent me here to buy masks. And so she's like, I'm just doing what they asked me to do. I'm like, uh, okay. So the hospitals are empty here. The hospitals are empty other places other than New York City, which has a high concentration of older people and Chinese, because it has Chinatown, just like Seattle and Philly and these other places. The longer it goes on, the more convinced it's, it's BS. And they got everybody running around, running here, running there. It's about control. So, I'm down to one video that I'm trying to um, trying to do at the right time because it's like a it's like a NASCAR. I, I talked about how I became a Kurt Busch fan. So I'm kind of if I if I don't get anything else in, I'm going to do that later today. I'm wide open um, for, I'll take some Skype, some phone calls, email me if you're interested in that. If you want to sponsor for someone else, please do. If you are out of work and you need a sponsorship, you know, a legitimate sponsorship, not for something like with, you know, a friend or a roommate situation or something like something that's, that, 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 that's, that, that's really, that, that, that's really important, you know. You know, something that was like endangering and life changing, or if you're young, stuck in a stuck in a situation, though that's what we'll use the sponsorships for. All right. Um, other than that, I am out of stories. Um, so I hope to hear from you guys. I got a couple people said they're gonna donate this week, this month, or this week. You know, I can't expect that. I don't know if they've lost jobs, what the deal is. You know, people got to hold on to every cent they have at this point because it is what it is, you know, they fucking killed the goddamn economy and if it's going so well, if things had picked up again and was going so well again and it's just every time, man, every time so, anyway if you want to get your story on the channel, you know what to do. If you can support the channel, you know, if you're in a position that you can support the channel, support someone else, please do. Could really use it at this point. Um, you know, we're all in this together. You know, I understand if people have to, you know, some people have had to cancel and they're all, I got it. Like, I get it. I get it. Believe me, I get it. I be believe me, I get it. So, you know. This is just, if you can, please do. You know what to do with the links in the description box. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. All right, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.